welcome back. That was a short break. Why do I have so many roommates? Do you know? So, that one is one foot, two foot, two foot. Yeah, about there. So go ahead and cut off the smaller ones first. Okay. Or you want to cut off the big one first. Now watch your other hand. You gotta hold it just right. If you're holding it wrong. Uh uh, it's too close to your knee. Oh, I could help you and hold it. Now that you asked me to hold it, I'll hold it. Bring it here. I'll hold it. So I'll tell you another one. Have you heard of the fourth parrot? Yeah. In Spanish, la cuarta lora. Yeah. There was a boy in Honduras that was walking and he saw an old man selling four parrots. The youngest parrot was on the lowest branch. And in Honduras, the language is Spanish. So the young man said, old man, how much is the young parrot? And the man, the old man said, $5,000. It speaks English. Oh, that's the one I need so that I learn to speak English, said the young man. How much is the second parrot? $10,000. It speaks English and Spanish. Oh, now that one would really help. Aha, bendición. Ah, él, yo estoy disfrutando la compañía de él. Aquí estoy enfrente de la casa. Ah, él, sí. Bueno, no hay ningún apuro. Aquí estamos. Mi hijo está dentro de la computadora y yo estoy aquí con Kevin enfrente de la casita. Oh no, estamos aprovechando y haciendo un poco de gardening. Ah, ¿en tu casa? Sí. Ah, ok, entonces lo recojo en tu casa ahorita y ya ya casi llego, Daniel. Ah, bueno, gracias. Gracias, gracias. A usted. Ok, chao. Bye. Ok, bye. Not like that. It's not an axe. You're going to mess up my saw blade. So, the third parrot, how much? How much do you think it is? It speaks Japanese, Chinese, French, English, Spanish, Puerto, uh, let's see, Portuguese. It types on a typewriter. It sends emails. It drives a truck, a helicopter, and an airplane. It can do a thousand things. It can fix lawnmowers. And it's $15,000. Wow, said the young man. And what about the, the, the old parrot with no feathers that's sleeping? Oh, that one, said the old man. That one is worth $20,000 and it doesn't do anything. <coughs> the young, why is it worth so much, said the young man. Oh, that's the boss, said the old man. So what does that mean? Uh-uh, 
Ah, don't mess up my equipment. The, 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 old, the old parrot is like an old man that doesn't have hair, you see? And if you keep working on that, what will happen to me? I'll probably fall asleep, right? Just like the parrot. But the purpose of the story, what is, it, what is the purpose? must become the fourth parrot. Now, if you can do it while you're young, like right now, yeah. if you can learn to have skilled hands right now that you are young, before you're 20 years old, then by the time you're 20, you're going to be the what? Fourth parrot. Which means you're going to be the you're going to be the boss. Wait, the purpose was always be the fourth But how do you get there? Hmm. You don't know. You need skilled hands. Yeah. Who's faster at cutting? You or Daniel? Myself. Me? You're faster at cutting? Yeah. Perhaps you are. Who has more experience cutting? You. Yes. Do you have any tools? Ah, I see. So your father is teaching you. What did you do? What did you do? Tell me. And the blade hit you on the leg? All right, so put yourself correct. No, not like that. That's not correct. Put it in a better position. All right, I see that you like using strength. What kind of, how, without using the, I think you're correct. All right, instead of holding the, to, the piece of wood, what can you do so that it's stable? Lay it down? Yes, try it. No, but cut the same place where you were before. Uh -huh. All right. All right, so. I got a third one for you. There were two men digging a ditch, right? A hole. And their boss was drinking lemonade in the shade. And the two men were working, digging a hole. Finally, one of them said, how come our boss is sitting in the shade drinking lemonade when both of us are digging a ditch in, the, in a hole in the ground. And then the other one says, I don't know why. So then they started talking. They said, well, why don't you go find out? Why don't you go find out? Fine, I will go find out. So they, wait, wait. Put yourself in the correct position, all right? Get your knees out of the incorrect position. 
That's correct. All right, take your break. So the two men were digging with a shovel, right? And one of them said to the other, how come our boss is just watching us? He's drinking lemonade in the shade and you and I are here digging in the hot sun. So finally, they, one of them said, well, go ask the boss why he's sitting in the shade drinking lemonade and we are digging. Then the boss said, well, the reason you're digging and I'm sitting in the shade is because of intelligence. And uh, the man answered, what is intelligence? I don't know what that is. What is intelligence? It's something you, you use so you can get money. Yes. Hand skills, skilled hands, that's important. But even if you have skilled hands, you need not to make big mistakes like let's say I hire you to paint my house and you say okay I finished pay me and then I look and I say you didn't paint my house you painted my neighbor's house and you say pay me and I said no you didn't paint my house you painted my neighbors these things have happened in Honduras <laughs> Over there, you know how the grass is all over, right? There was no house. So one man bought and he said, clear the trees. He bought the land and he said, clear the trees. And when the other guy cleared the trees, the guy said, you know what? You cleared my neighbor's trees. You didn't clear my trees. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whose fault is it? Yes. Well, you told me to cut it. I said, yes. But from here to here. And you went from there to that way. That's the neighbor's property. <laughs> so these are humans make mistakes. So, yeah, even here, humans make mistakes. You're bored? All right, so Booker T. Washington said, you don't need somebody to tell you what to do every two minutes. Do you? All right. So are you finished? We're going to do the rest tomorrow? Oh. Well, how do I know that this is not complete? You don't know. I need you to cut, make the stick straight, all right? So like if you see this stick and it's got something growing out of it, cut that section off. That one's pretty much good. Now pick up another one. Uh-huh, that one, you got to cut off, you got to do two cuts minimum there. No, not there. Yeah, you could do that one, but I just do the, the main one at the bottom. Yeah. Now, but don't do it on your knees. What? What? You know what's going to happen to you? No, don't do it like that. What do you think is going to happen? Cut my leg. That's right. You gotta learn how to hold things the correct way. Maybe change the position that you're in. Mm -hmm.
intelligence. For intelligence? Yeah. That's right, for intelligence you're doing it. Let me call up Danielle and tell her I'll be late. Daniela? That's right. Jaden's mom. Uh huh. Hello. Hi, Danielle. I'll be arriving. This is Daniel. I'll be arriving a little bit later today, maybe around seven fifteen or so. Fantastic. So we probably, yeah, we probably won't be there today, but uh, we'll, we're going to thank you for tomorrow, though. Fantastic. See you next time. All right. No thank problem. you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Do I have to do a lot of work tomorrow? No, because you have learned intelligence. intelligence. No, uh, do it right, do it right. Nice and steady, nice and steady. If you do it real fast, what do you think will happen? What? You could cut your finger. But I don't do that. I keep it steady. And then do it. I never cut my finger. Well, I didn't cut it that last time. Okay, you didn't cut it because you have gloves. So, do it the correct way. Not like that. Do it the correct way. Find a better place to put that, that, find, oh, look at that. Yeah, you didn't even have to cut that one, huh? All right, wait, wait. Instead of doing it that way, let me tell you which way. Find another way, you know why? Because you could hurt your leg that, that way. Ah. Alright, let me show you another way. Alright. There you go, that's in a better position, isn't it? Try not to put it on the chair because you're going to end up cutting up the... That's correct. All right, let pass it here. It's time for you to take a look. You, you're, the only things I see you doing wrong is you keep trying to sit down. Let me see your legs. Where'd you cut yourself earlier? I see it. All right. I'll look. First, I'll put the gloves on, because even I can get hurt, all right? I thought the keys came from Yoda. You thought so, but do they? They did, but so... Now look, keep your goggles on. You see? Now to cut that section, I'll stand it here. You see how some saw, some are missing now, some teeth? I believe that's when you were hitting it. So don't hit it. It's not a hitting tool. Then I gotta go buy another saw. Now look. Now are my knees next to it? Well, are you recording? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. 
small enough to that they'll take it. Throw me another piece, will you? This goes into the trash can and then the city takes it. And then I grab some more from the tree that fall down. Some of them fall down. Some of them I bring from other neighbors. What? Yes. You don't have to. I do. I'm teaching you a skill. What skill am I teaching you? Cutting wood. Very good. Now, I have boots. See? I have big boots. So that I don't hurt myself. See, I didn't even have to cut that one. See? Mission accomplished. God bless you and those that surround you. Go do a good deed. Go help somebody cut some wood. Mm.